Roberts, the acting Rangers captain in the absence of Terry Butcher. So second by Bowman. The Rangers are penalised. Ray Wilkins, experienced midfielder. And after being under the collar of the opening few minutes, a chance for United to fight back. Eamon Bannon's free kick, right from the top corner, and over by Panalino. Pre rehearsed move, Eamon Bannon's free kick. Watch how all the players got up. Disappointing header at the end from Panalino. Morris Malpass making the interception for Dundee United. Eamon Bannon making the one on the left. But Richard Goff covering for Rangers. Used to play for Dundee United, of course, did Richard Goff. Long throw from Bannon. And left it over by Kevin Gallagher. He was forced to take it on the volley. Certainly, we want to finish better than that. Of distance from the throw from Bannon. Left foot volley from Gallagher. He won't be proud of that one. Wilkins. There's Mark Waters again. Checking inside, looking for Ian Durant. And an important tackle made by Paul Hegarty. This one, Rangers, appeared to be onto something. Free kick to Rangers. And this could well be a booking. Certainly the ball was going to clear the head of Morris Malpass, just stuck out the hand. Ray Wilkins with the Rangers free kick. Hoisted for Durant! Away by Malpass. And the United goal under siege then, but now they're trying to break away. Walters, taken down by Malpass, who was booked a few seconds ago, and that really was a late tackle. Here we see this free kick again, hoisted in by Wilkins, headed down by Durant, and Malpass hooking it away. Free kick taken again by Wilkins, away by Redford, it falls to Derek Ferguson! much elevation of the shot from the Rangers midfielder. Robert spreading it wide to Jimmy Nicholl. Now Derek Ferguson. A lovely touch from Derek Ferguson looking for Ian Ferguson away by Paul Hegarty. Referee waving play on. Kevin Gallagher again on the charge and beating Barton for pace. Gallagher finding Hemish French. And a free kick to Dundee United. Hemish French nearly getting past Richard Goff. Free kick to Dundee United. Ian Redford with it. Well, he wasted that situation without doubt. Redford playing against us. Former club, way high and hopeful. Durant, touch on to Wilkins. Mark Walters waiting down the left. Walters getting past Bowman. McAnally's header. Ball from Jimmy Nicholl. Ian Durant. Five bit of goalkeeping from Alan May to keep Ian Durant out then. Getting the important touch. Up and under from Jimmy Nicholl. But it picked out Ian Durant a treat. Brave display there from Alan May. Walters with the corner for Rangers. Roberts. 
Morris did well to keep it in play. And Morris now has his force to concede the throw. Graham Roberts with the long throw. Raymond Bannon kept it in play. Kevin Gallagher breathing down the neck of Jan Bartram. Under pressure as ever, Morris Malpass. Nickel, Bannon. High ball from Graham Roberts for Ian Ferguson to chase. Ferguson getting past Malpass. The cross was dangerous again from Ferguson. Morris Malpaz trying to stick closely to him. Ferguson dragging it towards the byline. Did well to get the cross over. Walters. Such a difficult player to dispossess. But United did it effectively then. Roberts again changing it to the right for Nisbet. That one helped Rangers cause. Bannon. And this French dragging it down. Derek Ferguson. United back four, reading it well once more. Bannon had a line in. Lovely touch back for Bannon. A late right tackle by Scott Nisbet on the United midfielder. And Nisbet escaping with merely a warning from referee Bill Crombie. Free kick to Dundee United with five minutes left until half time. Ian Redford to take it. Kevin Gallagher. Touch back for Dave Bowman. That's Padalainen. Ian Redford with a shot. And it nearly crept through. A great deal of power in that Ian Redford effort. Padalainen. Back for McAnally. the United throw approaching the final minute of this first half Ian Durant with space picks a panel line up for Dundee United a chance to make it one down and he's done it striker from Finland it seemed to come out of nothing down the line and getting past the despairing tackle of Jimmy Nickel and how about that for a finish and psychologically a great time for Dundee United to score because we have only 30 seconds left to go until half time French now surging forward for United. But the linesman's flag was up. United haven't had too many scoring chances in the first half, but they lead by a goal to nil. 
Carlos Malpas on the forward surge. United spurred on by that goal. We're into injury time in the first half now. Here's Hamish French looking for an opening. Rangers relieved to be able to mop up that situation. Walters. Great run from Walters and Ferguson nearly on the end of it. Lovely skills once again. This time the check inside. And Ian Ferguson wasn't far away. One minute into injury time. from half time and Dundee United in the lead by a goal to nil they certainly left it late in the first half what an important goal that could be for United it separates the teams at half time and so Dundee United kick off the second half with a tails up it really was a gritty first period display from Jim McLean's men and that mix of panel line and strike coming at precisely the right time could well be a goal that will injure Rangers championship hopes Rangers really face a huge task because United have conceded only one goal in the last eight games Rangers pouring forward Ian Ferguson's cross and Alan Main again there to meet it the United defenders all hesitating, but Ferguson breaking clear and Main getting there before Durant. Eamon Bannon now for Dundee United. Hamish French is waiting in the middle, away by Ray Wilkins. A throw to Dundee United by the corner flag ensues. Bannon with it. Up goes Padalainen, away by Roberts. Nickel. Tim McAnally heading it out of play, looking for support on the left. Losing out, there's Ray Wilkins for Rangers. That really is a disappointing ball from an experienced midfielder such as Ray Wilkins. Ian Radford for United. The intended receiver was Hamish French, straight through to Chris Woods. Bowman. Kevin Gallagher, again beating Bartram for speed. Such an entertaining player, Gallagher. Now taking on Roberts, the tackle made by Bartram. <laughs> Hamish French with a cross. Jim McAnally, determined as ever. But the shot might have been wayward. Jim McAnally really does sum up the determined nature of the Dundee United team. <laughs> Scott Nisbet keeping the ball in play. Dave Perry pushing it out. Derek Ferguson's cross. And the caught by Ian Ferguson. And there's Mark Walter! surprising Mark Walters has established himself as a favourite with the Rangers fans accurate cross from Derek Ferguson vital head flick on from Ian Ferguson that was crucial the ball put away by Walters so what a game 
that we have on our hands now. But still United going forward, mix of Padalina. The goal coming at exactly the midpoint of the second half. And Dundee United are being given the free kick. 30 took that goal extremely well under pressure at Mark Walters and a vital equaliser for Rangers five players in the Rangers wall tightly packed together and the free kick taken by Bannon struck with ferocity by the United midfielder Bit too close to Chris Woods, got it past the wall, but Woods was alert. Three minutes to go. Kevin Gallagher for Dundee United with space. The cross towards John Clark, and there's Eamon Bannon! And it was cleared off the line by Jimmy Nicholl for Rangers. Now Rangers on the counter. Paul Haggerty using all his experience to negotiate that situation. <laughs> Kevin Gallagher wasn't picked up. Dangerous cross, Bannon the player, making his way down the left, important clearance from Nicol, that was crucial, because we are now in the final minute of the game. Jan Bartram. Now Paz. Goff. Ray Wilkins for Rangers. Trying to use the flank. Looking for David Cooper. But no chance of a substitute ever reaching that one. Throw by Bowman. Pumped up field from Roberts. Ian Ferguson battling well, and Mark Walters is free on the right. Here's Walters. Can he get the cross in? He wins a corner. Excitement in the air whenever Mark Walters touches the ball. We're approaching injury time in this game. Walters taking the corner himself. There's Ian Ferguson going up for it. Kevin Gallagher. Derek Ferguson tidying up for Rangers. 20 seconds into injury time. Closer than that. Big powerful substitute John Clark nearly still in the game for United in stoppage time. Brought the ball down very well. Left foot drive. Now Ian Ferguson for Dundee United. But it's all over. United nearly stealing the points in the dying minutes, but at the end, a 1-1 draw. A true reflection of the game here at Tanner Dice. So both teams will be reasonably content with a share of the spoils. And next stop for Rangers is the European Cup quarter-final first leg match in Bucharest on Wednesday. One each, the final score just about right over the piece, and Celtic owe a great deal to Roy Aiken's last-minute penalty against Morton, keeping them four points clear of Rangers at the top of the table. Hearts, that surprise 2-0 defeat at uh, Falkirk yesterday, they're now back on 47 along with Aberdeen, and United now go above their city rivals, 35 points to Dundee's 34, and these two, of course, meet in the cup. And at the bottom of the table, while well, Falkirk clearly did themselves a big favour there, Dunfermline losing at Easter Road, they're in a bit of trouble, and Motherwell and St Mirren just out of the picture, they're on 26 points, still in some danger. 
So progress for both the United and Rangers in the table after yesterday's result. And I spoke firstly to United's long-serving defender, Paul Hegarty, and I asked him firstly whether he would have settled for a point before a ball was kicked yesterday afternoon. No, not really. I think both teams were going out to, to win, and I think you, you saw that today, Dougie. You know, even though when it was 1-1, both teams were looking for the, for the winner, and I think it was all credit to the teams because uh, the park was a bit bumpy, and it was windy, and it was difficult conditions to, to play good football. But in the end, you know, it's 1-1. You know, obviously... A disappointment for both clubs because we're on a wee run and we've been playing pretty well the last six, seven weeks. So obviously both teams will be disappointed losing a point. Mm. Looking at the two goals, they were quite similar in a lot of ways, weren't they? Well, that's right. Our goal was uh, through Patalainen and definitely struck it well in, in uh, Chris Wood's left-hand corner. Well, our goal it was our, our goal against us. Uh, the ball was played in and, and Fergie, their, their new signing, got a wee flick on, and the boy Walters did well to control it and, and definitely buried it uh, really well past. Alan mm. From a defender's point of view, playing against a, a striker making his debut for a new club and all the enthusiasm there is to impress, it's always a bit difficult for you. But, but you must have been quite pleased with the way you played. Yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, you've really got to be on your toes because we know what uh, Ian Ferguson's like because he's a very sharp player and very instinctive player. So from that point of view, you're you're always wary, as well as Ian Durant. So uh, obviously, it's nothing new to us, and uh, it's important that you've got to concentrate all the time because. Um, half a chance for these players and it's in the back of the net and you could be uh, on the losing side. United happily seem to be coming out of that terrible injury run of problems that you, you had uh, and hopefully set fair now maybe for another run to Hamden. Is that the main objective here at Tannadice now? Well, I think it is really. It's just a matter of sort of keeping on winning and uh, not losing goals at the back and, and hopefully winning. Since really the, the turn of the year, Dougie, um, we have been playing uh, pretty well and, it, and it's good for everyone because there's a bit of confidence uh, within the club. And that's a good sign. Mm. And from your own point of view, what is it now, 14 years at Tannadice? Testimonial season. And still enjoying your football, obviously. Yeah, oh, okay. it's like everything else. I wake up every morning, you know, uh, weekdays, and still enjoy the game. So I think that's an important factor. And uh, you keep yourself reasonably fit and I want to play for a few years yet. Yeah. Yeah. Training's not getting any harder then? No, if you see the young boys uh, running by, you just kick them, you know. But uh, in general, no, it's, it's uh, still enjoyable. And uh, I'm just glad to be part of the Premier League setup. And what a valuable player he still is. On the Rangers' side, I felt that Ray Wilkins was one of the most important players again. And he too seemed happy afterwards with a share of the spoils. I think so, yes. Uh, looking back on last week, we never performed very well at Dunfermline. Uh, and it takes a big team to come back, and especially come here to Dundee United and, and get a point. And I think we played very well today. Young Ian Ferguson, a good debut, I would think. Yes, we've... I think uh, Ian, as, as well as us, will be very pleased with the way he played. He's, it's not easy to come into a Rangers side and play. Uh, there's a lot of support against him, and he, he got told he was a waste of money quite a few times, which uh, we're very pleased to have him with us. Uh, I'm sure he'll be a big asset to Rangers football club. Mm. Were well, you aware at Ibrox this week of a lot of pressure building up, particularly for this game today, after the bad result last week and uh, the problems with injuries and suspensions? Was this a very important game? It was a possibly one of the biggest games of the season for us. Um, looking at the, uh, the Celtic situation, we couldn't afford to come here and lose today. Uh, Celtic have got a victory in the last minute, I believe, uh, which doesn't do our cause any favours. But uh, we're pleased to come here and get a point and play well. I think the fact that we played well is, is the main thing because now we go away and we play a very tough European tie but full of confidence. Mm. Let me take you on to, to Bucharest on, on Wednesday. Obviously, a, a no-scoring draw, I would imagine, is, is a good result for Rangers in that situation. A win would be an excellent result for us. <laughs> but as you say, no goals would be a super mm. result. But I don't think we can go there with that attitude. Because um, if we do sit back and, uh, and just wait for them, I'm sure they've got something up their sleeve for us. And mm. it's going to be a very, very tough game for us. All right. What's the, the mood in the camp then after this today? Is it uh, very much anticipation? One of optimism, I think. Mm. Um, we bounced back after a, a poor uh, performance last week and we're really looking forward to going away. Great, Ray. Thanks very much and all the best from everyone, I'm sure, for uh, Rangers on Wednesday afternoon. Thank you very much.